Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingface.com. Listen, guys, today's topic is why you should focus on React on 2018. All right, guys, so basically, I'm going over the reasons why you should definitely focus as a web developer. If you're looking to become either front end or even back end, you know, you should focus on React, right? And the reason why I say even for back end developers is because nowadays doesn't matter where you go you're gonna bump into somebody who's using react so even if you are a back-end developer you might as well know the basics so when somebody tells you hey i'm doing this component i'm connecting it to an action on redux at least you know what's going on all right so now let's talk about jobs right so there's a whole bunch of jobs out there when it comes to front-end developers right now most companies will tell you, hey, we want somebody who knows Angular, React, Vue, Ember, uh, Backbone. They'll throw like 20 different things on a post, okay? So don't get scared about that, right? But when you start going to this job interviews, you'll realize that even though they have like five different frameworks, you'll find out that they're only using one of them right it's either going to be angular or it's going to be react okay now for the long term react is the way better option because react pretty much you can use it anywhere right i've seen it being used inside of electron apps which are like basically uh desktop uh, applications you could use it with react native you can use it uh with just the web I've seen people put it inside of uh, applications for fridges, like, you know, literally like a fridge. Like you go to a Samsung fridge, the UI is built with React. Like, I don't know, like <laughs> that's crazy to me, right? So you're pretty much learning React once and then you can reuse that skill throughout all these different um, ways of actually building the UI for different applications, all right? so now let's talk about the jobs okay so if you go to indeed.com or you go to dice or you go to monster.com uh, you could pretty much come here and find that you could look on the search results and say hey man put the title colon react and you're gonna find a whole bunch of jobs here okay and one thing that you're gonna notice is that they're high paying jobs. It's not like little BS jobs where they're like, hey man, you know a little HTML CSS is like, oh, here's fifty thousand, here's uh, maybe sixty thousand, here's forty five thousand. Nah, we're talking about the big boys. We're talking about eighty thousand, ninety thousand, hundred thousand. If you have like two years in, two, three years in, you're looking at $120,000, okay? Like, you can't go wrong, right? Like, this is the main reason why I tell people, hey, focus on React. Stop focusing on everything else. Like, yeah, you could learn Angular. You, hey, you could do a little something for your side project in Vue.js, but those things are not the things that are going to get you money out here. You get what I'm saying? Like, okay, so let's move on from that, okay? So there's a lot of jobs out there, and one thing that, I notice, right? I've been doing research on this between Ruby on Rails, the second uh technology, second framework, the second skill that's out there that is paying the most for remote developers is literally React. Okay? If you are a good React developer, if you are somebody who knows their things, like you know, know how uh, components work, knows how the life cycles work, know how pass things through the props, know the basics, right? If you know the basics and you have solid applications as your portfolio, you'd be like, hey man, I did an application for this, I did an application for financial uh, services, I did an application for real estate, I did an application for a uh, restaurant, etc. Right? You have solid portfolio with react right you can pretty much get some very good jobs working remotely all right now i'm gonna look into this right so look at this so they offering remote react slash node.js developer if they put react first is because mostly you're going to be focused on react okay now do you know a little bit about Node.js? Do you understand how it works? So most likely their backend is in Node.js. They're not going to hold you 
to it to say, hey, we're looking for an expert in Node.js because that's not really what they're looking for, right? So pretty much just one year of experience, one year experience of Node.js, one year experience working with MySQL. Guys, whenever you see something like this where it says one year of experience, that one year could have been you learning on your own and basically working hard and, and building your portfolio okay so that means they're pretty much hiring anybody who has the skills and and could actually give them an extra hand right most likely this company just needs somebody to come in and do a couple of extra components come in connect you know to their api that they already have set up like simple stuff right and they're paying you know 80 to 110 thousand dollars guys like, you know, 80,000 is where you start off, right? If you're a junior developer, that's where you start off, right? Somebody like me, I have five, six years in the game. I started off at the 110,000, right? And if I could swindle myself in there and be like, hey, man, my last job was paying me 120, most likely they'll give me that extra 10,000 to get that $120,000, right? Now, for you guys, too, if you're a junior developer and you have the right skills and you say, hey, you know what? I, I want to start at 100,000. They'll be like, hey, but you only have a year, two years, and you know what? I'll take 90. You know, that's how you that's how you gotta negotiate this, right? So you gotta learn how to play the game. All right. So you start off pretty high and then you bring it back down. You say, okay, cool. I wanted to get 90 anyways. All right. So it's a great opportunity. It's a lot of jobs. You know, there's definitely uh a lot of cool stuff going on in, in the ecosystem of React, all right? Now Let's go into the numbers, right? Let's go into the numbers and compare it to other frameworks right now. One thing that's cool about React is that everybody's talking about it, okay? You know, um, you can see right here, this is uh, React.js, okay? It's at the blue one, all right? Uh, red one is Angular, okay? Angular has been on the top for a long time but it's keep on dropping every single day, all right? Now, from there, you got the new baby around town, which is Vue.js. It's still below everybody, no matter what, okay? Now, one thing that you're going to notice is this big boy right here, this green boy, right? This is React Native. So pretty much if you know React, you could take your skills to React Native too and create phone applications. Now, React Native is actually more popular right now just on searches right and this is just to be 100 percent clear this is just on searches sometimes people get uh confused with google trends and other different uh statistics they get it missing screwed and, and get it messed up right this is just for searches right this means that there's a lot of people searching either for questions tutorials uh examples you know, so pretty much React Native is hot right now. It's more hot than React JS, Angular, or Vue JS, right? But if you know React, you pretty much know React uh, Native. Like all you need to do is literally just go over the documentation and you're golden. Okay, so that's pretty much it. One thing that you're gonna notice is that you know React is everywhere, all over the U.S., even China. Uh, pretty much same thing with Angular. Uh, but if you come back here to this one, you're going to notice that the one that's dominating the most, as you can see, is like react native everywhere, everywhere is like react native, wherever you go. Okay. Now the next thing that we're going to see is we're going to look into NPM trends. So NPM trends is going to tell you how many times either angular react or Vue.js is being downloaded okay and even angular 4 which is you know you can say angular 4 angular 5 which is like angular core um pretty much you can actually see how many times it's being downloaded through npm which is like the standard of where people download either one of these different libraries okay so we're gonna say right here first of all so you can see green is react okay uh the blue one is angular core which is like angular four or five or even two and then you have the orange one which is the angular one 
and then the red one is Vue.js. Okay, but you can see this is a huge difference of how many times people are actually downloading React compared to Angular, Angular Core, and Vue.js. So pretty much it's like React is in control of the, the industry right now, right? And this is something that you guys should definitely look into, man. Like do your research. Don't just take it from me, man. You know what I mean? Because somebody might come in and be like, hey, Joe, you're biased because you love React. I'm like, yeah, I do love React. And I'm a little bit biased, but it's like the numbers don't lie, man. The jobs don't lie, right? The opportunities, the opportunities are there. They don't lie. You know, it's like it's there. It's right in front of you. All you have to do is do the research. So for 2018 is the same thing as 2017, like, you know, or even better now, because you have to focus on React, guys. You know, you got to learn React. You got to learn React Router. You definitely got to learn Redux. Redux is it's pretty much the standard of, you know, state management, right? So definitely look into that. And like I said, guys, I have my website, you know, at the end of the day, you could either take it from me, you could try to learn it from me, or you could go through my description and literally find other people that teach, um, you know, react, learn it from wherever you want to learn it, right? But definitely come check out my website, give it a chance, see if you like it or not. A lot of the people have been loving this course that I created, react quick and easy, super simple. You come in, you learn React, and at the same time, you can follow the timeline. If you are just a beginner and you're like, wait, I don't even know what React is, guys, you start from here. You come in, you say, hey, man, how many hours per week can you devote? Say, hey, I can only do, let's say, 15 hours per week. It'll come in and it'll tell you how long it's going to take you to actually finish just everything that you need to learn to become a front-end developer, okay? So you come in here, you got to learn a text editor, you get to learn HTML, CSS, build a responsive app, learn advanced CSS, SAS, uh, future-proof JavaScript, learn how to use Gulp for uh, basically just managing everything that you're going to need as far as, you know, Webpack, um, you know, SAS uh, on your local environment. I know it's a lot. It might seem like a lot, but if you dedicate yourself and you say, hey, man, I'm going to come in here, and instead of me doing 15 hours per week, you know what? Let's come back to the timeline. Let's say I'm going to do 30 hours per week, right? 14 days, you could finish all of this, right? So pretty much in 15 days, you could go over every single course that you're going to need to become a developer. Just a front end. Of course, if you want to become a full stack developer, you're going to have to learn the back end. There's way more stuff that you need to learn. But to get hired and to get the opportunities that's out there, it, it doesn't take that long, guys. All right. So I would say come in, try this out. If not, on my description, there's a whole bunch of Udemy courses that's going to take you to different um, great instructors that are going to teach you the best ways to become a developer, right? Now, it's up to you if you want to do it. But like I said, man, the opportunities is there. Guys, like literally like $80,000 to $100,000 a year. Like, come on, $80,000 to $110,000 a year with one year of experience? Like, you're not going to find this anywhere, guys. Like, you're not going to find this in, in any type of industry. You're not going to find that, man. There's guys that have been working in factories for 10 years. There's guys that work at freaking, uh, you know, you could be at McDonald's for 20 years, and you're still never going to get close to anything like this, right? <laughs> you could be at freaking, I don't know, the company that you work on, right? You work at a company right now, and you know damn well, that the most you're going to be growing is like one to 3% per year. Right. And there's like a maximum that you could grow. Right. So it's like, if you came in at $40,000, the most you're going to be making there is $70,000 by the time you retire. That's just how it works. That's how the world is. Right. So it's like, do you want to stay there forever? Or do you want to take a chance to give yourself the opportunity to say, Hey man, I'm going to learn something new. I'm going to change careers i'm gonna become something that i can be proud of and at the same time something that i could love you know what i'm saying now like i said before 
React is the best way for anybody to start with web development, right? If you're coming in, you're saying HTML, CSS, JavaScript. What's your next step after that? Maybe learn a little bit of jQuery just in case you have to come in and, and touch some uh, legacy code. But you definitely need to learn React. Doesn't matter if you want to focus on the uh, front end or you want to focus on the back end. Or even if you wanted to just do phone applications. Like literally, you have to learn React. So this is something that you cannot keep running away from it. Stop following what people might come in and be like, hey guys, let's learn Vue.js. Hey guys, let's learn the Harry Potter framework today. It's cool to try it out just to expand your mind and see what's out there. But if you're looking for a job tomorrow, this is where you need to be at. All right. So that's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. And guys, anytime that you guys want to contact me, you have my community. You go to my website, codingphase.com. You come here, codingphase.com. You come into the chat. It'll take you straight to the Discord. You could chat with me at any time. I'm on my phone 24-7, guys. Come join the community, right? You could come in and say, hey, Joe, I want to buy into a, a membership to your website. You come in, you say, okay, cool. You click React quick and easy. You come up here and you say, hey, I don't even want to buy the course, Joe. I just want to sign up for the unlimited courses. Literally, click in there. You come in, and if you wanted to get 50% off, any of the courses or any of the subscription, all you have to do is come to my videos. You say, let's say on this one, right? You watch me on any type of video, you're going to find a link on my description, right? That link on my description is going to be right there, right under the video. Let me pause this real quick. Right under the video, you come here and you say, hey, get unlimited access over 20 courses that will give you an edge. You, you need to get a job as a developer as soon as possible, right? That's my goal, to get you a job as soon as possible. It's not wasting time. It's not for you to come in and, and waste time. Nah, this is, we're trying to expedite your whole way through this whole thing, okay? So you come here, use this link, get 50% off. And all you have to do is use that coupon code from YouTube, capitalized, right? And you get 50% off on everything, all right? You come here, literally get $570 worth of content, right? You get it for $10. If you say, hey, I, I, I want to be a member for the whole year, $100, right? So it's like everything is 50% off, all right? So it's your boy, Joe. Back at it again, codingphase.com. Go subscribe. Go check out the website. It's up to you. But definitely, man, go learn React. If it's either from me or it's from somebody else, go learn React right now. All right, I'll see you guys later.